A new report shows that last year the U.S. economy grew at its fastest rate since Ronald Reagan was president. Biden has even started using Reagan's old catchphrase, where am I? That's good. A Brazilian man had to undergo emergency surgery after he got a four-pound dumbbell stuck in his anus. He then shoved it back up there and said, two. <laughs> Anyway, that's why you always wipe down the equipment. A new study of female bottlenose dolphins suggests that their clitoris can experience pleasure during sexual stimulation, but sadly, their fins can't reach. It was announced. Do you get it? Yeah, they got it. Mental health experts are now recommending that children start being screened for anxiety when they are eight years old, because it can be pretty stressful down at that old iPhone factory. <laughs> a video has also gone viral of President Biden finishing a speech in North Carolina, then apparently turning to shake hands with an invisible person. Hey, her name is Kamala. Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Krispy Kreme is running a promotion offering a dozen donuts for $4.11, which is the average price for a gallon of gas. But that's counterproductive because now your car is going to have to work even harder to drag your fat ass around. <laughs> Three items put up for auction by Melania Trump failed to reach the opening bid of $250,000. But Melania is no stranger to finding out something isn't worth as much as she thought. <laughs> Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer announced that he will retire in June. We thank Justice Breyer for years of upholding the rights of every American, said liberals who have been tweeting, retire, bitch, for the last year. <laughs> I sympathize with Breyer because I get those same tweets every Saturday night around this time. <laughs> the manhunt for the New York City subway shooter ended when the suspect called the police tip line to say that he was in an East Village McDonald's, where judging by this photo, he was auditioning for the role of Grimace. <laughs> Michael. Oh, come on. <laughs> President Biden promised to nominate the first black woman to the Supreme Court, but I hope it's not, I hope it's not because he wants to sniff a new type of hair. <laughs> Two Barbie dolls were launched into space for the first time ever aboard the International Space Station. Finally, they're gone, said two Ken dolls. <laughs> the host that played Seabiscuit in the 2003 film has died at the age of 24. So let's pour one out for a legend. <laughs> Senator Mitch McConnell, seen here learning that Betty White has died, <laughs> warned President Biden not to outsource his choice for the Supreme Court to the, quote, radical left. Coincidentally, a radical left is also what McConnell takes to purposely run over stray dogs. <laughs> The makers of Barbie have introduced the first ever Barbie with hearing aids. It teaches an important lesson. It doesn't matter if you're deaf, as long as that body banging. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Taylor Swift gave a commencement address at NYU's graduation ceremony this week because college is a lot like breaking up with Taylor Swift. You're still going to be paying for it decades later. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth made a surprise public appearance this week at the opening of a new train line in London after Prince Charles tied her to the tracks. <laughs> It's not real. <laughs> there, are growing, there are a growing number of nuns who are joining TikTok to show what life in a convent is really like. Because when the Catholic Church tries to connect with young people, it always goes well. <laughs> a highway in Arizona was shut down after a tractor trailer rolled over, spilling 40,000 gallons of liquid chocolate on the road. For reference, here's what 40,000 gallons of liquid chocolate looks like. 
A new report has selected the fittest city in the country to be Arlington, Virginia, while the least fit city in the country was once again Man Boobs, Louisiana. <laughs> And how did y'all land on $130,000? That's such an oddly specific number. I asked Stormy to come on update and explain it, but her agent said no, because if she's seen on camera with a black guy, her price goes down.